Hi friends, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today I'm gonna to show you how I take these solo wood flowers and we're gonna add a little bit of a kick to these flowers. Uh, in a previous video, which I will link down in the description, I take these flowers and I show you step by step from when they come in their original form in the mail to me like this, just a raw flower. And we're gonna make it look like this in that previous video that I did about a year ago. So I want you to refer back to that if you want to pick up some of these flowers and do this uh, particular painting, I guess, or staining of the flowers. They uh, come out beautiful. I love, they're all unique in their own way, however you do them. But I just want to refer you back to that video because this video is not gonna be about how I get the paint on them uh, because I already did it and it takes so long. So instead of showing you all that, I wanna show you the next step on what I wanna do. So we're gonna add some fabric to the back of this and we're gonna make them look very primitive. Uh, of course, you could change up the fabric however you want to, uh, to make it look the way you want to fit your style, to fit your decor. I just took what I had for scraps around here and just, just ripped them down into strips and uh, I'm gonna add them with glue around the back and they come out so, so cute. And then I'm gonna take them and use them in a piece of a, a thrifted piece that I just picked up not too long ago, actually two, and I'm gonna put them together. And we're going to just make some one of a kind piece using these flowers, and I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So stick around for this really cool upcycle. So the first thing that I did was find some material that I wanted to use as the backer of my flowers. So of course I had to use my black and tan material, especially if it's gonna be primitive. And I cut uh, them about two and a half inches wide. I'm not really sure how long, I just ripped it the length of whatever I had for scraps or for material. And I'll just use it up until I don't have any left on my flowers. I also tea stained some drop cloth material and another striped material to use. So I'm waiting for that to dry and then we're gonna work with that next. And I have this uh, piece of linen or drop cloth. And this is a smaller one. So this one is, the black and tan was two and a half. This is only one and a quarter or one and a half ish for the smaller ones. And this is what I tea stained. I don't know if you can tell it's, it was kind of stained anyway, had a stained look, but it's even more now. It's got little variations of the tea stain where it stayed in there, it looks kind of dirtier. So you can start wherever you want down here. I want my phrase to be on the outside because it's kind of rolled up on this end. So I definitely want it to be on the outside of my flower. So I just start with a little bit of glue somewhere on your flower, wherever you decide. And I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go under the stem. And just get it so it's secure, so it'll stay. And then I'm doing this backwards so it's weird but let me take that off. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue back here. Maybe, well that was a lot of bit of glue, but that's okay. Uh, and fold it over onto itself. And that's how you're gonna get your little ruffle in the front. And then I just glue a little bit more and you can do as, as roughly as you want. You can get as crazy as you want with your ruffles. Just fold it back onto itself. Actually, this is a little bit easier than doing it the front way. And just make sure you kind of glue underneath that little fold so it stays. Get it on your, it's really quick. It goes very quick. Oh, now I've got a string. And again, back onto itself. And make sure you put a little glue in that fold so it'll stay. Just a tiny, 
Just doesn't, it doesn't need a lot. Now you could, these came out really wrinkly once I dried, once I tea stained them and dried them. You could iron them. But I think the wrinkliness and the, the way it folds over makes it, um, I don't know, gives it another rustic, old, aged look. So I'm not going to bother. But you could if you wanted to. You could iron it all out and make it look all pretty. But these tiny flowers, it goes really quick. And you just keep folding it onto itself. Can you see how I'm doing that? And then let's see if I can flip it over. And then you can see how it looks on the front. It's just got little folds. And see, I'm crushing it again because I didn't let it dry completely. You really should, this should be done in like two steps. It should be do your flowers, let them dry overnight, and then do your um, wrapping. Keep going all the way around. I want it to cover behind the next one. Or the, the beginning, I guess. Not the next one. So it's going to keep going around till it's behind there. So it's completely in a circle. So you want to... I mean, I'm tempted to cut it off. But I want to wait and make sure I have enough. Put a little bit more underneath on the petal. A little bit more there for my fold. And fold it back on itself. Super simple. It's just the whole thing is trying not to crush your flower when you're impatient, like me. Okay, now I think I can cut it off. I'll give it a little bit extra with my terribly dull scissors. There we go. Okay, now we've gone around. So let's fold, glue those. They stay down. Fold. And just keep going. And fold. That should be pretty good. And I've totally completely flattened my flower. Which actually doesn't look terrible. I really didn't want it flattened. This is why you wait. This is why you have patience. Like, I don't. Honestly. There. Just fluff it up. Fluff it. Then you can cut off, like, all these little danglies. Welcome to Mr. McGregor's Garden collaboration featuring several very creative, very fun YouTubers that are going to show you some really neat spring garden decor and they're going to inspire you I'm sure with all their beautiful designs that always amaze me when I watch these videos. Collaborations are a great way to find new channels that you haven't seen before to give you new inspiration, tips and tricks with a new spin on how they would do it. So make sure you check out that playlist. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take this grater and this little shelf that I got, uh, thrifted them both, and I'm going to get this to stay by probably gluing it. That's probably what I'll do. I got my hot glue already here. So why don't I just do that? We're gonna glue it down all the places it's touching and try and get it to stay there. Okay, so I'm gonna take a half a styrofoam floral floral foam it came in a you know piece like this however it came like this and I just cut it in half took a piece of cloth fabric and 
just gonna kind of wrap it up so you can't see it. And I'm gonna stuff it down in there. You're not gonna be able to really see it, but I wanted to make sure if, you know, if you, you could see through these little slats that you'd see fabric and not the styrofoam. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do, next thing I'm gonna do is trim these sticks if I need to. And this one, do I need to? You probably could um, stain those a little ways. To make them look finished. I'm gonna stick them down in there so that's gonna hold up some of my flowers. I'm gonna do those up here and be careful where I drop those. This one I'm gonna trim. go down, cover up stuff. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Okay, so you don't have to, but I am adding greenery. I am loving greenery with my primitive rustic decor. So just touches here and there uh, to break up other stuff going on. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that there. Then I have this one that I just did. I think I'm gonna stick this one, there's no stick on it. I think I'm just gonna glue it in somewhere here. And then maybe put some greenery in behind it. And I'm just pulling apart pieces that I have. Maybe we can stick one in behind. And I may even take some Spanish moss and put some in there too, tuck it in here and tuck it in places. enjoyed my project today let me know down in the comments if you use different colors or what you would do differently here don't forget to check out the playlist for mr mcgregor's garden and also the video that i did on dyeing the flowers and every step on how i did that and if you haven't already don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a great day